Okay, go. Okay, check before the engine start. Pre-flight check completed. Baggage or tube are secured. Fuel selectors on. Safety guards are closed. Power levers left and right idle. Parking brakes is set. Alternate air closed. Manual gear extension handle pushed. Avionic master off. Electric master off. Engine master right off. Left off. Pitot heat is off. Alternate static. We see it's three o'clock position off. Alternators uh, left auto uh, left on right on issue swept left auto right auto all switches off emergency switch off and guarded ELT is armed circuit breakers we just see all in flap selector up area around the engines are clear electric master on Rotor pedals adjusted my side. Flight controls, controls clear. Full entry movement. Trims, rotor trim neutral. Elevator trim. Put it forward unrestricted. Put it backward unrestricted. Back to the takeoff position. Gear warnings plus lights, fire detector button press. Right engine fire light on, left engine fire light on, three greens, unsafe light on, and oral warning is heard. Flaps to landing, usually checked, flaps going to landing. Variable elevator backstop check, control stick, F and hold, power levers to max. You can see the stick is trying to move forward. So check backstop limit decreasing, power levers idle, check backstop limit <coughs> increasing. Flaps up, left going up, right going up. Passengers not required, seat belt fasten my side, fasten check your side as well. Rear door is closed and latched, front canopy, canopy clear. Okay, coming down to position one. Okay. G1000 powered and before I acknowledge I must check that the aviation data is not expired in actual aircraft it shouldn't be expired and then I acknowledge it MFD EIS fuel EIS stand for engine indication system check for fuel fuel quantity check 21 21 42 almost 42 otherwise I can <coughs> increase fuel decrease fuel or reset the fuel fuel temperature checked green total time in service checked mfd eis system over here start key inserted power levers idle acs stroke on now before i go for the start procedure display backup button press and I will select system here so that I have one column of instruments over here another column of instruments over here to be glanced at the time okay propeller area is clear left engine must on player prop hold the brakes and throttle waiting for the left door indication to go off and then I'll have my eyes on the RPM low indication off starting the engine don't leave below before 500 1001 1002 1003 oil pressure out of fed within three seconds voltage electrical load in green no fire no smoke no leak now i'll start the timer 40 seconds in these 40 seconds start glide glide speed is 82 knots vr 72 VX 79, VY 82, 194, 156, and minimums we set to 400 feet. That is our VFR asymmetric decision altitude. We are using FMS knobs, right? Yeah. Okay. We are using this knob. So moving the FMS knob left, 
the cursor we can see go up 